Hey everyone, welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. Today, I want to duel this other Ronin guy that's located here, duel among the spider lilies. Um, it's a gorgeous setting, so I think I'm going to enjoy this duel a lot. 50% of the reason why I enjoy the duels is because of the settings, and this setting is so nice with all the colours here. The red you spider said lilies. You're the greatest swordsman he ever met. I had to see for myself. So let's go fight this dude. You'd be better off taking his word for it. I've trained with the blade since I could walk. There's no one left to challenge me but you. Ah, oh, I should have worn my Ronin attire. Oh well. We still look good in the travel attire. Time to do 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 You know, watched Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid. All right. Cross that. Hiro Tsune. I love the slow-mo that they have when you dodge and attack. Use <laughs> those stories don't do you justice. They never did. Oof, I could have died from that. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, it's a chance to wear the Ronin attire, I guess. Oh, well, it goes just straight into battle. Okay, yeah, it's straight into battle. Oh. Justice. They never did. Go get him. Oh shit. I should have known, like, once when they sheath their blade away, it means there's a special attack coming up, hey? Man, these, um, these Ronins, they truly, truly just live their life well. for battle. Finished. They truly just live their life for battle, eh? Like, two Ronins so far, they just wanted to fight Jin. For to experience a skill and for excitement, adrenaline, and that's it. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. Someday we'll go. That's for just a how ride. they live their life. This is a peaceful ride already. Right, I think there's an onsen up above. Let's go have a spa. Give me your credit to hide. Yes. Yeah, I think it's an onsen bath right here. Oh no, it's a fox den. Oh yeah, that's right. There's that side quest. Um that we stumbled upon with that fox that was killed. So yeah, I actually want to do that side quest as well. Those foxes, they play such a beautiful role in this game. You gotta get to the bottom of killer. 
get to the bottom of that quest, find out who the killer is. Why that fox was killed. Oh, campfire. Yeah, let's um let's do that quest first, eh? I'm gonna pet you. Alright, so peace for the divine. Yeah, that was where that fox corpse that fox was left to rot <laughs> destroyed shrine the shrine has been desecrated do this. Slain and left to rot. Utter contempt for these sacred messengers. Yeah, it's horrible. Completely destroyed. This took time and effort. Defaced. There's no doubt this was purposeful. Mm. Peace for the divine. Will you guide us, Foxy? Guide us. You know who did this. Guide us to the murderer. The shrine murderer. They must be responsible. How dare you disrespect our shrine? Where's that fox? Take us. Fight me! Where are they? Can't even see them. Return to my ally, my fox ally. Where are you? Take us. Which way? Yeah. Oh, more fox. Foxes. Is that the multi? How, how how do you? What's the word for multiple multiples of more. fox? Foxes. Take us. 
but <laughs> where are the others? Probably there. Did everyone? I hear more dogs. Before you blow the horn, let me just get you. Yep. Like these dogs. Oh, they killed so many foxes. Did they eat them? Did they kill them as food? Oh, they're such beautiful creatures. How could they kill them? Charm or fortune. Yay! Revenge for the foxes. I want to pet you. How do I... Where's the prompt? Give me the prompt! What are foxes like in real life? I've never met one, met a fox before. So yeah, I don't really know what their behavior is like, eh? Because I always thought foxes were like really sneaky and mischievous just based on the TV show Dora the Explorer where there's the fox that swipes away Dora's items. But I don't know how true that is. Based on this game, and given this game seems quite realistic, I feel like Maybe they have a better interpretation of what foxes are like and in, in their behaviours in this game. Okay, let's sit, start and hang out. Start uh, this quest here of Nordior and hang out with them for a bit. Lord Sakai, Norio. We've all been worried about Hochi. They need a break. Such moments are rare these days. 
I used to be like them. I'm not the same man I was the night before Komoda. How bad was it? Komoda? Bad. Worse than bad. We lost everyone. The beach was soaked with so much blood, it was like paste. Be grateful you didn't see it. We rode south all day into the night. A bad storm slowed us to a crawl. Stopped at a farm to sleep a few hours. I woke to screams. The main house on fire. Mongol raiders. They took us to Canada in chains. After that, I wish I had died fighting. I think I know where they took Hochi. You want to go now? Yes. Okay. Let's help our buddy out. What are those things that hang on his shoulders? They look like garlic cloves, but... Must be some sort of monk Where clothing. A camp on the coast. Mongol ships stopped there for supplies and prisoners on the way north. If they put him out to sea, we'll lose him. Road Sakai, when this is all over, what will you do? Uh, rebuild? I hope one day I can return home. Find a way to rebuild. I wish I still felt that way about my temple. Most of my life, my course was clear. Follow the Eightfold Path. Raise a family. Serve Cedar Temple. You can still do those things. I joined the temple because of my brother. And I always imagined my children and Enjo's children growing up together. Can monks? Wives, monks can't have children. The Mongols monks. haven't taken everything, Norio. Mm -hmm. One day they'll be gone. And you'll I guess still he's have saying... a life to lead. But I don't feel it's mine alone. I have to live for Angel and the other monks who die. Do you ever feel that way about the samurai of Komoda? Like you owe them a debt? Yes. Sometimes. Like my life has to count for a hundred samurai. But that doesn't feel possible. Maybe that's the point. Life before the invasion feels like it happened to someone else. Or like childhood. Maybe 20 years from now, you'll look back on this moment the same way. Lord Sakai, I told you Hochi strongly opposes violence, right? You said he disagreed with the warrior monks. He hates all weapons, including yours and mine. He can lecture me all he likes once he's safe in Akashima village. We're getting close to the camp. I think Norio is saying that he doesn't want to be a monk after all the say. Mongol guard, run him down. Are you cowards? Okay, ghost stance. The next enemies we see, ghost stance it is. Yeah, thanks for the comments by the way. Um pretty much read all my comments and yeah one of you mentioned that I should not waste a ghost stance and I should use it when I can otherwise I might lose it which is true it's so easy to lose the ghost stance like you just need to get hit once and that's it we have to find Hochi the Mongols are holding someone there Hochi has to be if I go alone I can reach him without the Mongols knowing Mongol signal cannon. I could set it off. Draw their attention. I get Hochi out. After I find Hochi, we'll meet there. Don't wait for me if I'm late. I get Hochi back to the village. I can handle myself. Okay. I'll meet you both back in Akashima village. Set off the signal cannon. I'll get Hochi. Take refuge in Amida Buddha, my lord.
free Ho Chi, so we can't make ourselves be seen, eh? I'm guessing. Otherwise, Ho Chi's life will be in danger. Oops, I want to get that supply, not go under. Can I chain assassinate those two? Never mind. dying so much recently. Okay, let's try to take down lesser enemies at once. One at a time. Challenge me! Let's take down these few. Oh. like fighting these big guys, eh? Good work, my friend. That should send the Mongols running. Oh, cool. So I should have waited for that signal. We'll talk later. I, to go. I can't leave. The Mongols are returning me to see the temple. The people there need healers badly. There's no time for this. I'm sorry, but I must remain here. Not of a dead body, you're gonna Jin. remain here. Hochi! Norio? What are you doing here? The alarm drew a raiding party nearby. They're almost on us. <sighs> Damn it. Stay by Kochi. We won't let them near you. Norio, ready your blade. Let's change our gear. Alright. Oh, whoops, sorry, whoops, wrong. Yes. Alright, got a kill. Okay, let's get it. Oh, damn it! 
my ghost son. My freaking ghost son because of that outro. Others with you, Norio. Everyone is gone. It's just me now. I'm sorry. I wish we could end this bloodshed. The Mongols were searching for me. I gave myself up to save lives. How did they know where to find you? They knew I was an Akashima. And they wanted to return me to see the temple. They need a healer. You're willing to treat the enemy's wounded? Mongol or Japanese, we all suffer. Some deserve it. But this means... Has Cedar Temple fallen? I don't know. Noryu, take Kochi back to the village before reinforcements arrive. They will seek revenge. I'll meet you there to plan a defense. Oh, Hachi, what a good heart. <sighs> it is true though, both sides suffer. That's what happens in war. Ghosts in the fog. Let's just carry on with the story, eh? We're right at it. Oh, it's meeting Norio back in the village. Where is he? It's wrong to enter violence with more violence, Norio. It's right to prevent more suffering. If you kill these raiders, others will retaliate. Lord Sakai! What's the problem? Mongols are gathering nearby, preparing to strike. We should evacuate to Castle Canada. Evacuate and the Mongols will hunt you down. Sounds like they're saying Not Canada. one of you will live to see Canada's walls. But we won't have blood on our hands. Go tell the village your plan for them, Hochi. I'd like to see that. <sighs> Norio, I wish you cared about the Eightfold Path more than others' opinions. First you follow Enjo around, now Lord Sakai. Do you ever think for yourself? Wash my brother's name from your mouth. Enough! Norio and I will do the fighting. Everyone else can go hide. I refuse to hide. I don't take lives. But I am not a coward. Ghosts in the fog. I wonder what that title means. I'll scout the village. We'll find out. See what defensive preparations we can make quickly. Gather everyone to you. Ready them to take shelter. Okay. One of these rooftops should work. Everyone! We need you to gather here! Bring your families, quickly! Here. Perfect. If we flee into the swamp, people will get lost, separated. Easy prey. Make sure everyone is here. Family, friends. No walls. Mongols can strike from any direction. Not a very protective village. Very vulnerable. People could hide there. No need to panic. Just the temple might here. get surrounded. Incense burners. Add black powder to the incense. Get the smoke nice and dense. Enough to use as cover. Norio and Hochi lead everyone to the temple. I'll deal with the Mongols here. They'll blame me, not the villagers. My lord, we've gathered everyone. 
Take them to the temple. I won't let you fight alone. If the Mongols go to the temple, who will protect these people? I'll do as you ask. Keep your Naginata ready. I'll owe you a jar of sake for putting up with Hochi. Everyone! Mongols are on the way. Follow me to the temple. The invaders will face the wrath of a samurai. Please, everyone, do as Norio says. To we'll take shelter at the temple. Let's add the black powder. Wait, so if it's gonna be hard to see, it's gonna for the Mongols, it's gonna be hard to see for us as well, right? Last one. We're gonna be fighting. Are we gonna fight on the rooftop? Need to find a place at the edge of town to wait. Oh, okay. So not on the rooftop. I can I can hide in the granary. like smoke. And they like that fire arrow and the lantern. Oh, that was fail. anything. guys over there <laughs> damn it that was a fail chain assassination I 
assassinate. Dudes on the side. Our son who nicked all cheer. Yamar Negum Harbo, you matra. Hey, I'm up there, please. Doctor Hutch, big table. Go stats, let's go! Alright, I said all of them. You audio. Okay. What happened, Norio? Oh. I was fighting. A Mongol snuck up behind me. Hochi threw himself at a blow meant for me. Oh, that's Hochi. Both braver than many samurai I've known. I didn't know he was behind me until I heard him cry out. By the time I turned around, he was dead. It's not your fault. Norio? Every time they lifted the cover on the pit, the daylight would blind us. This time, one of them stank like sake. I felt their hands pull me up, but my brother threw himself at them. He was starving, wounded, but he fought them. He fought them so hard. Norio, you don't have to. Yes, I do. They gave up on me and took Angel. They took my brother. Everyone who rode south from sea to temple. All gone. Except me. They deserve to live. I'm the one who should be dead. That's like imposter syndrome. I thought the same thing after Komodo. Many times. I don't know why we survived, Norio. But we did. And these people are counting on us. We're all they have. Yes, Jin. The people Give him of some Akashima are alive because of you. Give him some motivation. Don't forget that. Because they won't. Ah, ghosts in the fog, I get it now. It's always after the mission you understand what why they named it that 
why they named that quest that. Ghost of the Fog. Norio, at least we have each other, okay? Alright, so just gonna carry on with Norio's tale. I guess I'll fast travel here. Fighting at Kushidara Temple. Monks are in danger. Where's the entrance? We just climb up. Where is Norio? Norio! Oh. Get it. Look what they've done. Anyone alive? Deserves reverence, not bloodshed. Centuries of wisdom lie within those walls, and the Mongols were ready to torch it all to the ground. They attacked for a reason. The temple gives people hope. The abbot's been telling people to pray for a great storm to wash the invaders from our home. Now the abbot's missing. And the brutes stole the most sacred relic in Toyotama, a statue of Buddha, carved at the temple's founding. My brother would have recovered them. He would have given these monks hope before they ran for the hills. And we honor his memory and restore the temple. The Mongols stole Get the, the statue of Buddha from the main hall. And the abbot? He and his closest followers fled. I'm hoping they found shelter. Let's get the things back. Birth of Suffering. I'll see to the monks. Where would they take it? Hey. The statue was here. Yes, my lord. The Mongols stole our sacred Buddha and rode off toward the coast. We'll return the statue and save this temple. Not even your brother could keep that promise, Norio. Oh. <laughs> so you're looking down on us? What was that about? Underestimating us? Mongol blade. Benjo the Guardian dies, and these monks are willing to give up everything. They're cowards. They're people. Benjo feared nothing. He wasn't even 20 when he saved this temple from bandits. Now it's up to us. Cause of suffering. Ah. We need to find the Buddha and return it to the temple. The monks said they took it toward the coast. We can pick up their trail. You're angry. How can you tell? You're not talking. Ha! It's that monk. He doesn't know the whole story about my brother saving Kushidara. I heard Enjo acted alone. That's the legend. In reality, he ordered three of his bravest monks to challenge the bandits. A distraction? A sacrifice. They died in battle, but only after giving Enjo enough time to flank the bandits and save the temple. Interesting seeing Norio being a bit more angry, eh? I didn't expect him to be like that. It seems pretty, I guess, Lord, over there. calm so. so far, and maybe just sad, a bit sad sometimes, but never really angry. What happened? I was following the Mongols to beg them to give back our Buddha. 
Where did they go? Out of the forest. To the hills. May your next life be more peaceful than this one. Should we bury the guy? He gave his life for his temple. Like my brother. You would do the same. We're just leaving his body there on the road. Okay. I find the Mongols. Am I meant to track something? camp here. Chain assassinate them, eh? Children, Oh, there it is. Oh, never mind. That's not. It's a Mongol artifact. Mongol shield. Let's check out these tents up here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Carved from a star that fell from the heavens centuries ago. Beautiful. There's nothing else like it on the island. Let's get it back to the temple. Put it back at its place. Angel became the guardian when bandits attacked the temple. They came for this statue. It's priceless. Probably survived many such attempts. How many more people have to die protecting it? You want to let it be stolen? No. But the temple is filled with treasures. It provokes greed and envy. Lord Shimura brought me to see it when I was a boy. I 
I'm sure the sculptor must have met the Buddha in person. When I was a boy, my family traveled here to make an offering for the new year. That's when Enjo and I decided to become monks. I used to know what I fought for. We fight for a home. Maybe so. Ah. Sometimes when you go through the actual journey, you just lose focus, eh? Legend rolls. Cool. Oh, I feel like Nordio needs some emotional support. Good thing Jin's there to talk to him, eh? Just how he made those comments, like he doesn't know what he's fighting for anymore, I stuff like that. Is safe. Let's continue. The abbot is from Cedar Temple. Why did he come here? To help resist the Mongols in Toyotama. But when they attacked, he escaped. The battle was chaotic. Might be difficult to track them. There's a farm nearby that supports the temple. We'll start there. Okay. Let's get the abbot back. Piece number two. The Blood Sutra. Reach... Koshimizu farm. The Mongols have taken it over. I put an end to that. Then the abbot must have found shelter. This reminds me of another time Abbot Kome went missing. The temple was divided by a feud between our senior monks. What were they fighting about? I don't remember, but it seemed important at the time. The abbot disappeared for a week. We dropped everything to look for him. What happened to him? He hid from us on purpose. And we stopped fighting in order to find him. Would make things worse. He's it's a, a cunning, cunning leader. Person. Another time, my brother and the healer, Hochi, were fighting. The abbot started carrying a rock everywhere, arguing with it night and day. Hochi and Enjo were so embarrassed, they reconciled. How did your brother feel about the abbot? Enjo respected him, like a father. If the Mongols captured the abbot, it could work out well for us. It sounds like he tricked them into giving up the invasion. <laughs> You're beginning to understand Abbot Kome. Fire coming from the farm. It seems more women have gone missing. What do you think is happening? We saw this fire. Who burned this down? They were cut down escaping the fire. The abbot's not with them. Check inside. He's dead. Oh. Burned alive. Oh, Leo. horrible. Is it the abbot? How can you tell? The fire, don't they? He's not the abbot. Just how can you tell? Oh, okay. Searching. I mean, like, how can you tell? It's like it's a burnt corpse. You can't even recognize Water it. Water barrels. Tipped over. Straw bedding. Hmm. Damn. Could the abbot have saved himself? Maybe. Oh, yeah. He poured water on himself. He protected himself with wet bedding. Escaped oh, the back. smart. Maybe he survived. Very smart. Whoever survived the fire went this way. Then there's still hope. Good. Footprints are heavier, farther apart. He was running. Zip 
Frankos. Waterfall's edge. Oh, something sparkly. More blood. We jumped down. Oh. We jumped down with him? Or will I die? Oh no, that's all good. It just looked shallower than it was. Investigate the waterfall. Blood on the rocks. Is that a cave? Okay, I think he survived then. Oh, never mind. He nearly made it, but no. No. Is he? I'm sorry, Norio. Without his leadership, the monks will leave. And the temple will fall. The Mongols won. Is there anyone else who can replace him? What's that next to him? A Lotus Sutra. Written in the abbot's blood. His final act. Like a samurai's death poem. The point of this sutra is that we can all be Buddhas. From the lowest peasant to the greatest noble. Written with his dying breath. Not for himself. But for those he left behind. Show the sutra to the monks. Oh. If they see the abbot's devotion, they might stay. Yeah. Oh man, a lot of the characteristics of the monks, eh? They're just such caring people. Wait, there were some items in that cave I wanted to grab. Or was it just the scroll? Oh, I thought there were items. And this is the sutra the abbot wrote in his own blood. A final act of devotion. Oh. A call to stand up to cruelty. A call to stay and not surrender. We will honor the abbot's sacrifice, Norio. We must not let Kushi Temple fall. Enjo the Guardian saved us once. Now his brother and Lord Sakai have saved us again. And together we can defeat the Mongols. Oh. That's so touching, eh? Like, the abbot's last task. He felt like he needed to write down his words and pass the message on just because he cares about the people who's, who he's leaving behind. That's such a, such a noble act. Oh, we're nearing the end. I just want to carry on. I'm liking the story a lot. The monks My are Lord. such kind people. And Norio. Norio! Have you spoken with the monks? Their resolve is growing, but they still fear the Mongols, as they should. Where is everyone? At the river, bathing, washing clothes. Okay. Who's that coming to the temple? Look, a Mongol a who Mongo. wants to die. He's alone. See mm. what he wants first. 
I don't think he's actually alone though. The ghost and the brother of the guardian. I have a message for you. Speak. The ghost and the monks have defied the Han's will. Surrender, and we spare this place. Refuse, and all will burn. We will never surrender. Then you will die. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yep. They are never alone. Oh. Oh, nice, Norio. The monks by the river. They don't have time to reach shelter. Then we'll be their shelter. They blew the horn. I though. can't. The Buddha, the Abbot Sutra. Oh. Are they worth more than the monks' lives. I can't save them alone. Centuries of learning reside in this temple. I can't let it burn. Okay. What? What? What do we do? Burn. I will die for this temple. Do what you have to. Ah. <sighs> What's with that decision making? I don't know. What's right? What's wrong? <laughs> then stay here. I'll okay. find the monks at the river and bring them back. This is our goal. Protect all the monks. To protect all the monks. Okay, the end of suffering. I like that title though. The end of suffering. Okay, where's the river? Which way? That way. Oh, the defenseless monks just trying to take a bath and being, and they're gonna be under attack by the Mongols. They're just trying to clean themselves. Mongols coming! Get away from the river! Put your clothes on. Oh, poor dudes! Look at these guys! Oh, they're just trying to take a bath. Oh, I don't like fighting the big guys, eh? Away from them. And and hell. Okay. Send these Mongols back across the river, my lord. Oh, naughty okay. I just realized. So Norio just decided, oh, he must have been so conflicted, but he, I think he made the right choice in the end. Norio, what are you doing? The temple's undefended. Temples can be rebuilt. Lives can't. Mm. We'll defend the monks at the pagoda. Lead the way. All of you, come with us. Ah, oh, Norio. Oh, look at these guys! They're just so vulnerable! <laughs> oh, ho, ho. oh, it's so cute! It's so vulnerable, naked and. Okay. Go back to the temple. 
They didn't even have time to put their clothes back on. That's how vulnerable they are. So precious. <laughs> Look at these guys. That's annoying. Do I fight first the shield guy or the... Why that felt really good. Okay, let's go talk to Norio. Oh, that was that was really fun actually. Oh, you're still naked. <laughs> Give the man some clothes. Okay, where is he? Norio. Oh, he's 
right there. Outside the temple. My lord! Hey. The Mongols lost badly here. They won't be eager to return. The monks will never forget what you did for them. We did this together. I didn't fight alone, Norio. No, but if I had not listened to you, many more would be dead. What will you do now? It's time I return to see the temple. We still need your Naginata to drive the invaders from our Wait, home. I think this you isn't right. How come... The temple will be a strong ally to you in the north. How come we're looking at grass? I'll join you there. <laughs> How come we're looking at grass? Grounds. Nothing's burned down, so that's very good. Over here, my lord. Oh. What's over there? I was just here. The Buddha. Ah, oh, it fell. My brother earned the name Guardian when he saved this temple. I wish we could have saved the statue. The statue's final lesson: save what we can, but know that everything passes away. It's a worse statue when it's broken, but a better teacher. Norio changed his mind pretty quickly, eh? At first he was so... he sounded so... Um, felt so strongly about staying at the temple, protecting the Buddha, protecting the abbot's uh, message. But he appeared during our fight. Oh, I think that is the end of this tale for now. Cool, yeah. That was very enjoyable. Alright, I'm going to leave the video right here. Really enjoyed this part of the game. Really enjoyed getting to know Norio, um, his story, and also the monk story. And I felt like I learnt a lot from the monks, the characters that they are, their behavior, their values. Uh, they're just such caring and selfless people. And it just kind of gives us a reminder that it's like so important in life to be kind to others, to look out for each other. I'm still just very impressed about the abbot's uh, last actions, how the last moments in his life, he, the most important thing to him was to write down his knowledge with his blood, it's just so he can pass it on, make sure that it's passed on to the future generations, the people that he's leaving behind. The abbot just has such a great heart to do that. Such a big heart. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video here with me. Uh, if you did, please give this bit a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this part of the game. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.